What's up, guys? I promised you a tutorial on making my colors. I honestly didn't think it, um, the video was gonna hit 75 likes. Uh, but it hit it overnight, so I guess you guys deserve a present from mine. So first, you're gonna want to start off with the adjustment layer. Uh, I like to start off with curves. It's the best best color correction tool in After Effects you should start getting good with it okay um for Rattlesnake it's a pretty dark map so I like to start off with the S for Rattlesnake I'm just gonna make a little S for Sandhog and um other bright maps like that you would want to make a bigger X um S <laughs> X okay uh red um I don't really like to do anything with the red just bring it up a little, bring this down a little. Uh, the main thing is just to mess with it. Uh, just keep on messing it with it till you get something good. I don't come into Sony Vegas uh, expect like with the set color correction. Uh, I just mess with it for ten, 10 to twenty minutes until I have something good. Um, bring up the green a little, maybe do like a little little hill this is looking pretty bad but the main thing with curves is to pretty much uh, not make it look pretty but make it decent looking and make it making it pretty is with the other effects that you add in later and finally for the blue kinda just like to do this Okay, that's looking pretty decent already. Oh, jeez. I had it good the other time. Okay, uh, compared to that, to that, I mean, really, I should put this on full since I'm not going to be. Okay, um, another effect I like to do is... Oh, um, tip. Stay away from brightness and contrast. It's It's probably the worst which is called correction. Uh, just stay away from it. You can do everything in there in other effects. So, yeah. I like to bring in exposure. This is like brightness, but uh, it targets the brighter colors. Not It doesn't target the, the darker colors. So I like to just put that to like 140. Um, also, where are you at levels? I like to do levels. Uh, this pretty much just brings out the whites and the blacks. I just like to put out the ends a little. Uh, what else? Uh, color balance, HLS. I just mess around with the saturation. This probably go up to four to five. Uh, you don't really notice it, but it really does make a difference. It brings out the colors a lot. Um, mainly this building right here, it makes just makes it stand out more. Uh, effect and I also do tritone. If this is if I'm looking for a specific color I want my video to be, uh, I'll do. Let's go to like a go to a, a lighter blue. Probably looks it looks ugly right now, but let's crank the blend with the original up to eighty to ninety. Uh, go down to eighty. Uh, you don't notice it, but it does give you. Uh, actually, I don't really want it to be that much, so I'll just go up to ninety. It just gives it a bluer tone. I just recently started using this. I honestly think this looks better without it, but um, I used brown the uh, default settings for my enemy video and uh, I think it looked pretty nice okay um, what else ooh yeah another thing why uh, people ask me sometimes why is the video so smooth uh, I honestly don't know but I think this is the reason real smart motion blur is a plugin uh, just look, look up on YouTube you'll find a link to get it uh, I honestly think the the default settings are good, but um, I like to tone them down just a little. 
bring this down to like 55 and bring the 50 down to 40. If I can get it to 40, there you go. This pretty much gives it a little motion blur. Mm, yeah, it makes it look way better. It looks more, more professional. Also, uh, I know how you guys like your your no light, so I'm gonna make a new adjustment layer. Um, no light. Uh, for this, I'm gonna use glow, but um, light easy is uh, what I normally use. Um, for this, uh, I highly suggest not to put it on the top right corner, like. Uh, probably most people do but um, I I suggest ma uh, finding an, an excuse to put it somewhere like this light or this guy but um, as you can see it's night in rattlesnake so uh, I'm gonna put on this light I'm gonna put this down to third and um, keyframe it keyframing uh, it's not as hard as people make it people are just too lazy I'm gonna admit that I get lazy too, but uh, you know, th the key to being a good editor is patience. You gotta really put time into your edit, and you can't be lazy. You can't take shortcuts. You gotta do what you gotta do. So you're just gonna for glow. Um, I skip three to four keyframes unless you do like a fast movement and just adjust it. Three to four keyframes adjust it and just do that throughout your whole clip and it should look pretty nice um, also uh, a lot of you guys have been asking me how I get my flicker effect I mean a lot uh, well I just do that with twitch go to enable and I'm pretty sure it's light I'm not sure uh, and go to operator Bring this down. What the hell? Uh, bring it down to about twelve twitches. I honestly don't know what um, a correct thing. I just play with it, and it should um, just mess around with the settings. That you should come out with a good flicker effect. Um, what else do people ask me? I've got a few questions on how to get the um, dirty lens effect. Video Copilot, I use optical flares for this. Um, optical flares, I mainly use it for intros and something that's pinpoint like a light. I usually don't use it for the sky because um, it's really harder to keyframe and make it look uh, more natural. But uh, what you want to do is put it over original, uh, go to options, and Go to texture. I like gr grime, uh, but there's other ones like dag. Yeah, you guys can look at that in your own. And I just turn off all all these layers, and you should have a good good dirty lens effect. I think it looks pretty sexy myself. Uh, what else do you guys like? Um, I know there's one thing. I'm forgetting something. Hmm. Crap. I know I'm gonna remember once I once I turn off um the fraps. What is it? Oh yes, 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 I know. Um I'm gonna wanna make a new adjustment layer. I'm gonna show you guys how to blur the edges. I'm gonna put this um below these layers. You know what? Uh, I'll just put it above. Um, by the way, adjustment layers just apply the effect that's on the layer to anything below it. So if you have an adjustment layer with color correction and it's not above the clip, it's not going to put the apply the color correction on it. Uh, so this is to blur the edges. So I'm just going to get the ellipse tool from here. You won't want to double click, and once you double click, it just fits the comp. You don't have to uh, mess with the drag and, and whatnot. Uh, and you're gonna 
go to blur and sharpen Gaussian blur bring it up to three three is good I don't know depends how blurry you want it uh, and you're probably like what the heck blur is in the middle you don't like that so if there's a box that's inverted inverts the the mask and go to mask settings mask feather should be really high and mass expansion should be really high not that high actually probably to 50 50 to 30 is good uh, that just makes it real nice nice little border and blurs out the unnecessary stuff so your eye doesn't necessarily um, catch the attention to it so um, I think that's answering all the questions you guys asked me lately so without all these yeah kinda <laughs> explains how ugly it is without color correction with it bam looks like sex if sex was a color correction uh... yeah so hope this helped you guys um, I'm not that good at making tutorials uh, sorry about that I'm probably not going to be making any more in the future. Uh, so, peace, late homies.